It took enterprising players recording their findings to prove that these myths were real, or at least, you know, real glitches. Either way, we owe it to them to talk about the wild stuff they found. These are just a handful of some of the weirdest proven myths in Grand Theft Auto. In Grand Theft Auto V, players have noticed a curious icon in the corner of a mural in Mount Chiliad, which appears to resemble a stick figure on a jetpack. Eagle Eye players have also noticed a sticker of a man with a jetpack in Leicester Crest's home. Naturally, these little crumbs have led many to believe that Rockstar put these in as hints, trying to tell gamers that such a device is actually somewhere in GTA V. In fact, hackers eventually found source code for jetpacks within GTA V, which seemed to point to the devices being available in a future DLC. Where's your jetpack, Zuckerberg? GTA 5 players' jetpack dreams finally came true when they were introduced in Grand Theft Auto Online, released as part of the Doomsday Heist update. The jetpacks are expensive, but they can be upgraded with all the bells and whistles your gravity-defying bank robbing heart desires. Unlike some other GTA oddities which have special conditions that must be met in order to play out, one particularly depressing NPC seems to pop up any time in any weather. In Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, which is probably the most haunted game in the series, this particular pedestrian may spawn at the edge of the Los Santos Inlet, taking photos of the view. After a bit, they'll lower their camera, walk straight into the water, and die, giving the appearance that they wanted to take at least one serene photo before shuffling off this mortal coil. Um, are you okay, Dan? One possible explanation is that the inlet originally extended farther than it does in the final version of the game, but the NPC's movement path wasn't edited when the landscape was changed by the development team. The result is one of the saddest tourists in gaming history. While it could be argued that a few of the so-called haunted vehicles in the Grand Theft Auto series could be victims of gravity, merely careening down hills or what have you, these ghostly locomotives defy the laws of physics entirely. In GTA V and online, it's possible to encounter train cars that are moving along the tracks without an engine car, let alone a driver. The GTA wiki posits that this may be a glitch caused by overcrowded online servers. Whatever the cause behind these strange trains, the weirdest part isn't the fact that they're moving without an engine. No, the strangest thing about them is that they seem to pick and choose when they're made of solid matter. Players are not able to push the trains along with one of their own vehicles, as though they're made of sterner stuff than some locomotives in GTA. However, players have also observed other trains on the same tracks that can drive through these phantoms like they're not even there. These inconsistencies in the trains, well, consistency is what makes spotting one of these ghost locomotives such a memorable experience. Let's be honest, of all the vehicles that could come to life and move of their own volition, the scariest would have to be helicopters, right? Imagine looking up and seeing the whirling blades of a phantom helicopter bearing down on you. In Grand Theft Auto Vice City, you can sometimes spot pilotless helicopters roaming the city skies. If you're flying your own vehicle, you can even pass straight through them on occasion. Freaked out here? That was too spooky! And if that wasn't puzzling enough, here's where it gets even more bizarre. If you shoot down one of these ghost helicopters, you will immediately receive a 3-star wanted level. Now, why on earth would that happen? The only logical explanation is that the Vice City Police Department was clearly employing poltergeists in the 80s. Suddenly, every single time you've gotten a wanted level for doing something that you thought was unseen makes complete sense. It seems like every neighborhood in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is a bad neighborhood, so spotting graffiti in the game isn't a particularly odd sight. What makes this particular bit of tagging notable is its habit of vanishing and reappearing on a schedule. This ghostly graffiti can be found in the Vinewood Cemetery. It saves families for life, which seems pretty on brand for one of the Grove Street families in the game. However, if you look closely, you can see what appears to be a 666 incorporated into the design. And what's creepier, it only appears during the night, from around 8pm to 6am, and then vanishes with the morning light. You know, the kind of thing that non-paranormal graffiti totally doesn't do? Whether it's a glitch or an intentional spooky touch on Rockstar's part, one thing's for certain. It's proof that it feels good to be gangster even after death. <coughs> oh, when I'm gone, everyone gonna remember my name. Big Smoke! Oh. <sighs> Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more SVG videos about your favorite games are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.